right guys, so yet another MIUI update for the Poco X3 Pro. This one is global, the version is 12.5.9 and yes, it is still Android 11. It is of course 12.5.9, so it is not MIUI 13 and we are still going to talk about it. I've been using it since yesterday. There are some good things and some not so good things. So before we get into the review, if you haven't already, please subscribe and hit the notification bell icon because it doesn't cost you anything and it really motivates us to make amazing content like this. Now without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kalash. Let's get going. So once again, what we have here is let's actually go to the about section and let's talk about the all specifications here. So the MIUI version now gets bumped up to 12.5.9. We are towards the end of February and the security patch is January. So that of course is disappointing. Android version is 11 kernel, of course, always stock kernel is going to be perf kernel. Now, if you're gonna ask me at the start of the video itself that are there any new features? No, there aren't any new features because this is 12.5. Even in 13, you don't have any new features. The good thing here is you do see that it continues to have the enhanced badge. The stability and the fluidity is what they are saying that they have increased. So, I mean, what's new? Okay, I flashed it on Bhima, so we don't really have that option. But it just says increased system stability and updated the security patch to January. But that will not stop us from reviewing this. Now, initially, if you allow the phone to settle on this particular update, after say about a day's time, the fluency is definitely there. I am, you know, liking what I see on stock MIUI ROM for the Poco X3 Pro, the Mi 11X, these uh, latest devices, which are last six, six months to a year old. In the latest enhanced edition and MIUI 13 updates, these are getting smoother. The heating is sort of under control and things are getting better overall. But what I don't really like is that the sluggishness is still there. If you talk about Google feed, I don't know in which generation or which device they will fix it, but just look at the stutteriness. Now, we've been on this ROM for, you know, more than 24 hours. The phone has been idle. It's, it's not a good experience. If you talk about the app icon animations, you know, same old cry, it is still more than broken to be very very honest so uh yeah nothing much can be said there if you flash this on bima of course you will have an issue with uh, you know device certification you have to go ahead and follow a process and even then you will see device not certified so all those things are there and i think the latest version of xiaomi.eu based on this particular update has been released so you're better off flashing that but if you ask me the smoothness the overall fluidity in this rom is there if we go ahead and check important features or important options, like if you go to the battery section, do you get the performance struggle? You don't really get the performance struggle. Usual stuff like fingerprint face unlock is still present. It works absolutely fine. If you actually go to additional settings, you will see that you have two gigabytes of memory extension. That is RAM extension. You do have your one handed mode, clear speaker, all the options, all the features which were present earlier are available as well. Now let's quickly go ahead and talk about the app versions over here. If you look at the camera application, let's, let's actually go here and let's see. So settings. Nothing new over here. Everything is still the same. If you go to the gallery application, let's go to settings of gallery here and let's see, are we getting any new options? Not really. So even the gallery is the not so updated one. If you then move on to the security application here, let's go to security settings. 5.5.1. So even security app is not updated. Now this is really, really disappointing. So, you know, what MIUI or what Xiaomi is doing is with every update, they are giving you a new security patch. They are giving you a bump to the MIUI version. But if we talk about the problems of updating MIUI apps, now this is something extremely basic. As you can see over here, the only update that you see over here is Poco Launcher. And uh, yeah, let's, let's actually, while we talk about the review, let's go ahead and update this as well. Okay. So we do have the new Poco launcher now. So let's actually go to the launcher settings over here. Let's go to more. And you see you have double tap to lock screen and all the other features and options. But 
you don't really have a lot of you know more optimizations and fixes miui launcher still continues to be dominant it is still the better launcher compared to the poco launcher the app icon animations are still broken the security application gallery application the system applications are not updated even if you talk about game turbo it is still the old one video toolbox and things like those are as you can see over here available so the mii 13 toolbox is not present so all in all this is just a version bump upgrade but what about performance you ask so first let's quickly go ahead and have a look at the cpu throttle test which i did run for 15 minutes and if we talk about the cpu throttle test you do see that the average score was 172 961 gips and the cpu throttle to 92 percent of its max performance now put to put this into context this particular device that you see next to this one this has sort of a weaker processor. Remember, this is a K20 Pro with the 855. This is a Poco X3 Pro with a Snapdragon 860, which is an overclocked version of this particular device. So if we actually go to the CPU throttle test on this one, 92%, 92%. Average performance, 181 and 172. Although the K20 Pro is on a custom ROM based on MIUI, but still, you know, you see the difference and that is the reason we do speed tests. Let me know how do you think the speed tests are doing. We'll be making a lot of videos on speed tests. Now, let's go ahead and watch some other benchmark numbers here. If we talk about Antutu benchmark, let's see what numbers we get. 569, 603. Same old stock performance. Now comes the surprising part. If you actually go to Geekbench and you look at the single core and multi-core score, Let's go to history, 684 single core, 2637 multi-core. This is below 700, so that's even more disappointing. So all in all, you know, this is nothing fancy, nothing new, a slight improvement in the UI fluidity, but Google feed is broken, app icon animations are broken. I don't know what Poco are doing with their software. All in all, this is just a number upgrade, nothing new, no performance improvement, no features at all. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think about this particular update? Until the next one, this is Kalash, signing off at PhoneOps. Keep smiling, take care, goodbye.